fort of our Lords of the Fallen easy walkthrough. Okay, so what we're going to do, ignore all this nonsense up here. Let's run over here, quickly up these ladders. Now be careful, there's a lot of, uh, oh, these little bastards, whose main objective is to knock you off the edge, that's it, pure and simple. Uh, that's a shortcut we'll unlock much later. There's another enemy hidden in here. This one begging you not to kick him off. Sorry, mate. Okay. Just run and jump. Run and jump. Another enemy here. And you see, complete victim of collision damage. But never them, only us. Same with this guy, he's getting booted off. And jump across. These guys, you don't have to kill them. I don't think they attack you. Pretty weak. But there's another guy there. Another person just around the corner here. And all these do. Yeah, they don't really attack it, they just cry. Another guy right there. See what I mean? They're littered. Another guy here. Another person here, but we're gonna. Another one right at the end. Another enemy in there. Just letting him know that he's not the only one who can bang out spells. Okay, and take the left up. Here we get ice grip. Ah, so yes, so we're just gonna. So if you go into your an L1, just keep L1 in and you'll get to being called Tinkts. Tinkters. I think, they, I don't know why they just call it Tints. And for each bit of kit, you can change the color. Nice little mechanic, not a massive amount used to it, but it's nice. <coughs> yeah, my bad. So there'll be a little memory along here, which 
we'll come back for that. Now you see your thing's going crazy here. Now you don't want to go into the world. The reason being is because you want to drop here. Pick up Faithful Bludgeon. Nice strength weapon. Now you can flick into Umbral World if you want to here. Because you're going to need to to get across there. You will get some enemies coming out the walls. Now in this section it's going to be a bit of a just a run. So what we want to do is go up here. Ignoring these enemies, quickly run round, grab that, back over here and down. We get the crimson crimson raptor sword. Same here. We're gonna quickly pop the belly. And now Straight away, that thing is going to be hunting us. But as soon as we come here, we're safe from it. Ooh. And I'm going to come up here. And Crimson Rector Shield. Now this leads up to back up to the wizard and to Skyrest. However, what we just want to remember to do, remember you had that double door. And that brings us to another section of Skyrest. Uh, what we're gonna do, go into Umbral because we'll need to be. There, da, 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 da. Divine in here. Witness this offering. Now you can listen to them, they do give you a bit of kind of a bit of a story. Come around here. Uh, Prince's Sting, so what you can do is you can actually swap these out and they give you different things. So the one we've currently got um, is what's creating that little bomb, so it has a chance to spawn a mine. If we go on to that one, we'll deal additional damage with a smaller equipment load. For now I'm going to keep this mine one, I like it. Now we need to, because where we're heading is we want to go up there, where the eye's blocked. So if you come up here, and just roll off. And then just walk over here and roll off again. Now, here, pull the platform, drop down, and turn around. Pop that belly. Oops. Here. Pop that one. That's all the bellies popped. C. 
searing accusation. It's going to be a come apparent in a second what we need that for. Now, even though we're in the Umbra world, we're perfectly safe inside Skyrest, which is why the eyes closed. And if you come and chat to her, she doesn't really say anything. But if you hand this over to her. Now, a weird thing in Souls games, I don't, don't know why they do it. But if you, well, I suppose you meant to go off and come back at a later time. But if you just exit to the main menu. Feel free just to skip through and fast forward through. So welcome back if you fast forward through. And she's moved on we will get to meet her again their words are veiled when they speak to me of it but I know what they think by marrying and here's where you first came into Skyrest So as we're already in Umbral, we're just going to quickly pop in so I can just show you boss weapons. Ah, so actually we can't. We need a particular piece of equipment first. Can't upgrade anything. We can. Upgrade our radiance to 20. Now, by the end of the game, we're going to have aim to have our radiance up to like 50. That's how good it is. I'm going to walk back to Sanctuary. Now, we just did all the bottom area. We're going to do the top area now. Check my notes a second. Because what we want is the Bucket Lord to join us in this next fight. Just make things a little bit easier. Um, but, it, 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 but it's one of these weird things that the quest has not made even remotely clear what you're meant to do. There's no hints, nothing. So, what you'll need to do... We've got this ominous looking pile of boxes. And there's the Bucket Lord. So we're going to pick up all that nonsense. Now, if you see, he won't interact with us. What we've got to do... got to get naked don't ask me why and what you want to do is we need a set basically we need gesture use our gestures greeting pointing down and the bucket lord salute so what I find is if we just uncreate all them choose pointing down which these ones you should have as standard and the bucket lord salute we picked up on the outside when we first came into the area now what you do is you use these in order hi point down at the floor and bucket lord salute Now, when you chat to him, huh. ah, my bad. 
So we need to equip the broken bucket. Um, we do the same thing again. Greetings. Point down. And there's nowhere that gives you any tips on how you'd possibly work this out. The pride of the Bucket Lord has been reaffirmed. So you basically have to bring him four buckets. And it unlock, you get rewarded a bit of kit and just keep repeating it. You have to go back to him after every four because if you have more than f if you have more than four buckets on you it crashes the uh, crashes the quest weirdly there we go I don't like being naked uh, and yeah, just re-equip whatever weapons you, you, you want to use. For this one, I might actually switch to Umbral. Only because, like I said, I like the eyeballs. Okay, so come on across here. This way first. Uh, jump into Umbro. Take out these idiots. Imperium grenades, basically a holy grenade. The use that will actually have a little use for us later. Ah, just get rid of these guys. And here we have an NPC Damaros. Now she's linked to the Rogar or the, the bad ending. She's good ending, bad ending, and then the hidden ending. Hidden ending is quite tricky, and it involves all uh, all the NPCs basically. Basically, to get the umbrella ending, it involves sacrificing all the NPCs you've got. If you go the good ending, she becomes an enemy at the end. Uh, but she is an NPC, does sell a few things soon. Okay. So come through here. Get that. Now, unfortunately. Should we rest? Yeah. Because you want that little uh, extra life, really. Now we're heading down to fight a mini boss. I'd want to say mini boss. Um, but she's not optional. You have to fight her. She's just not a full-on boss. Uh, not a full-on boss, really. Now, this boss, she is protected by a uh, 
one of those little things which might make a blue. But if you walk right up the corner here and start soul vacuuming, ting, that's her protection gone. Now the Bucket Lord will join in in a second. While I stand, you never stand alone. Oh. Well, she's not a boss I like to do countering on. Now see, it takes a long time before she they, they, uh, before the enemies re-aggro. Now you can soul player. Oh, you bitch! Wasn't expecting that. We're just gonna solo play her again, and that's it. That's her done. Not too difficult, especially with the Bucket Lord's help. Don't forget to pick that up, and don't forget to pick pop the belly. We'll need these items for uh, Dunmire, the Wizard's quest not worth putting a, uh, a flower down and we picked up a bucket him gonna boot him off ah, every time just gonna fill up my energy make this little jump here I said you could you don't really need to put a um, flat seed down because as we come down ah oh, idiot just come this way apologies Just be careful you don't die, because you don't want to die. Oh, so we're going heading all the way back to the sanctuary. Now, if you already purchased that key, you could open that door. The key that we talked about that I said don't bother because, unless you've got a lot of money, because you'll get the key free anyway. Anyway, 
girl may have missed a vestige here somewhere. Never mind, we'll come down here, drop down, kick the bridge. And what we'll do, just watch out for that wizard dude. Oh, I hate these little shit. Go away. We're gonna throw him off. Oh, even better, throws himself off. An idiot. Right, tell you what, we're going to plant a seed here. It was there that we were meant to do it. Okay. And now I'm at 20. I'll start on my endurance. Because casting spells also uses endurance, as does the dodging and rolling. But we're going to wrap that up there for part four. Next, we'll be moving on, heading our way to the bell room. Uh, when we get to the bell room, we're going to then work on our way to getting our blacksmith. Uh, but until the next part, as always, toodaloo.